welcome back everybody to Undertale. Uh, the game that is majorly creeping me out with this lab area. I'm not very fond of it. <sighs> Ooh, whoa. The button. There's a switch on the wall. Press it, yes. Oh no. What even? It's the amalgamate. I need to heal. Eat the glam burger. Oh my, oh my god. Whoa, 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 whoa. Amalgamate is watching you intently. Beckon, you call the amalgamate. Dude, the negative space in the legs is dogs. Oh! Oh my god. Ah! Hovering close. Pet. Not going. It convulses rapidly, then calms down. Rest quietly on your lap for a moment. Suddenly, shoots away and crawls wildly on the walls. I don't like this arrow attack. It's hard to dodge. Striking the wall with its claws. Play. Throw your weapon into the corner of the room. Amalgamate brings it back to you. Proudly, you repeat this process a few times. Now Amalgamate is very tired. It's stripping a morphous body on you. I am so confused right now, and also I am about to die. Oh jeez, I need to eat. The clam burger, jeez. What is this? Why is it in Alpheus' lab? Pet. You pet the amalgamate. It starts to generate a stage one happiness froth. What? What's a happiness froth? I mean, I know what a froth is, but... Pet. You pet the side... Endogony. Number 11. Now that Metaton's made it big, he never talks to me anymore. Except to ask when I'm gonna finish his body. I'm afraid if I finish his body, he won't need me anymore. And we'll never be friends ever again. Not to mention, every time I try to work on it, I just get really sweaty. <laughs> oh, yeah. Because it's, you know, the beautiful hot bod and all that. I am, like, really, really spooked by all this. This is incredibly spooky. A refrigerator, it's empty. It's a refrigerator. It seems to contain samples of some kind. 20. That's why it left me five messages to leave. Four about everyone being angry. One about this cute teacup he found that looks like me. Thanks, Asgore. <laughs> it's a refrigerator. It's empty. Entry number 21. I spend all my time at the garbage dump now. That's my element. <laughs> That's depressing. It's a refrigerator. It seems to contain samples of some kind. The refrigerator is empty. Oh, oh God. It's so cold. This music is a slowed, warped version of the Snowden Forest. It looks like Snow Drake. Bad part about snow starts to shift. What a bad point about snow. Ah, thank you. Told a bad point about snow. She's completely calm now.
is really creepy. Vessel to wield the monster souls when the time comes. For all the monster cannibals were the souls for the monsters, just human cannibals were the human souls. So then, what about something that's neither human nor monster? Experiments on the Vessel are a failure. It doesn't seem to be any different from the control cases. Whatever, they're a hassle to work with anyway. The seats just stick to you and won't let go. I don't like all these mirrors. Oh, yep, yeah, that's- oh. Whoa! 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 What is that thing? Mystify? As it has more on. What is that? What is going on? What's happening? I'm really confused. Pray? Pray for safety, remembers its conscience. These sound like. Oh god. This sounds like the final frog in and the whims a lot. Clean, you wash your hands, nothing happened. What? Um. What about that thing? I thought that thing would have heard me. Or does that thing not count as a person? I'm not surprised to feel that way. Glamburger, eating. So far, the only two things that have gotten a reaction out of this weirdness is prey and pick on him. You pick on Reaper, Reaper Bird. Rivet, rivet. Finally, someone gets it. Courage. Are these just, like, compilations of six different monsters all wrapped up into one thing? Or it seems quick. Oh my god, this is the creepiest thing ever! Blue Keef, it's perfectly into the slot. This is so creepy. I have all the keys done now. I think I can go back. Alright, here we go. I'm gonna save, actually, first. True that. Turned off. Seems like this controls the light. Turn it on, yeah. Uh. Oh god. Get away. Get away from me. I can't move. Hey! Stop! Oh jeez. I got you guys some food, okay? Sorry about that. They get kind of sassy when they don't get fed on time. I think they smelled the potato chips you had, and... Anyway, the power went out, and I've been trying to turn it back on. But, it seems like you were one step ahead of me. Which is probably just a big inconvenience for you. But, I appreciate that you came here to back me up. As I said, I was afraid I might come back, but that's not because of these guys or anything. I was just worried I would be too afraid to tell you the truth, and I might run away or do something cowardly. So, s is she talking about suicide? Uh, I suppose I owe you an explanation. You probably know, Angor asked me to study the nature of souls. During my research, I isolated a power I called determination. I injected it into dying monsters so their souls would last after death. But the experiment failed. 
You see, unlike humans, monsters' bodies don't have enough physical matter to take those concentrations of determination. Their bodies started to melt and lost what physicality they had. Pretty soon, all of the test subjects had melted together into those. Seeing them like this, I knew. I couldn't tell their families about it. I couldn't tell anyone about it. No matter how much everyone was asking me. And I was too afraid to do any more work, knowing everything I'd done so far had been such a horrific failure. But now, now I've changed my mind about all this. I'm going to tell you, everyone, what I've done. It's going to be hard, being honest, believing in myself. I'm sure there will be times I'll struggle. I'm sure there will be times where I screw up again. But knowing deep down that I have friends to fall back on, I know it'll be a lot easier to stand on my own. Thank you. Come on, guys. It's time for everyone to go home. Whoa. Tree number eight. I've chosen a candidate. I haven't told Asgore yet because I want to surprise him with it. In the center of his garden, there's something special. The first golden flower that grew before all the others. The flower from the outside world. It appeared just before the queen left. I wonder. What happens when something without a soul gains the will to live? Tree number 18. The flower's gone. That's Flowey. That's Flowey the ring. It's a voice you haven't... have never heard before. Banana. Are you there? It's been a long time, hasn't it? But you've done well. Thanks to you, everything has fallen into place. Banana. See you soon. Oh god. Oh no. The door is jammed shut with vines. Okay. I'm gonna see what this is all about in the next episode because it's I sense a boss fight coming. So, see ya. Uh, wow, alright. See ya. <laughs>